Hello everyone. Today I want to share a simulation case of the tension of a chain. And as you can see in the viewport, this is the result of the this model. So here we have created a asymmetric model. So we use the middle planes to display the complete chain. Here. And this is the effective stress distribution. And we can see the animation. And the maximum vermicet stress is about 250 MPa. And we can also check the effective plastic strain at about 0 0.04 or 0 0.066. And the contact pressure. Now, to display the counter plot, I just uh, take off the symmetric and show only one of the So this is the contact pressure. And we can also plot the reaction force code. As you can see, here. so this is the reaction force when we uh, and we tend the uh, chain and the force is about 35 kilonewtons and the material has yield, yielded so then let me show you how to create this model uh, at first we I have imported the mesh of quarter of the chain as we can see, and then we need to define a material. So, and we can give it two hundred ten gig pass. Point three and the plastic yield meter okay. Let me check if the data is the data right. So uh, density Elastic, plastic. The yield stress is two hundred ten megapass. So I need to give it a and 
plastic screen and so this is the material now we need need to create a homogeneous solid section and ascend the section to this part okay here we don't need so it has material and section property. Then we need to create the other half of this lock. So here we first to check the instance. We already have two so I make the we need the other half of the chain and make a move to make it isometrician. Then we need to oh sorry we need click OK to complete the operation then we need to uh, rotate the second half about one axis about 217 degrees and again rotate it about y direction about 180 degrees and make it a move in the x direction Now we have make it at the right location here. Then we can go to the step module and create a static general step and give it 0 0.1 and 200 increments. And then we go to interaction module because there are two parts and they will make contact after the tension load. So I need to create a contact property and normal behavior, a multiple property, and then we create a general contact then uh, I have created two reference points in at this two points so I will make a coupling between the end face and the reference point. So I make a coupling. This one. And then we can go to the load module and give it a fixed boundary condition and a test.
recognition and let's get with bond recommendation so the first the box x in sorry the box y scene so either we need to choose this note about y scene and second is about z scene this and this So then we need to fix one end and last we need to give a tension load. So this is the whole model. After we have completed all this, we can create a job and make a submission because the mesh has uh, completed in other softwares and we can check the element type but we can't edit them in CAE and the element type is C3 D at R and we can create a job and make it submit. Here we have created the job and make it run into completion, but it has completed with 57 increments because it involves contact, so it is nonlinear, so it takes some time. And then we can check the results and the stress distribution and the air distribution. Contact stress, effective plastic strain, and make it a complete chain. So uh, we can also show the stress and at the same time yeah and link the viewport so here is the reaction force and this is the stress distribution. Okay, this is the, all the content of this tutorial. Uh, if you're interested in ABQCAE, please subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.